GMHC, along with literally over 250 other AIDS service providers and AIDS advocacy organizations, formed United for AIDS Action. Our goal was to raise the issue of HIV and AIDS and the government neglect on it, particularly at a federal level. And I look out, you know, I see this sea of faces. I mean, I don't know if you've looked around, you know, look behind you to the right and the left. It's truly amazing. My name is Joe Napoleon. I will be 13 in September and I have AIDS. I dream about the day when there will be no more AIDS, no more tears, no more pain, and no more dying. I, I'm very proud of him. I'm. Uh... I've always been proud of him without these causes. I'm sorry that he has to, that his, uh, his moment has to be uh, around this issue. Since the beginning of the epidemic, it is the affected communities that have led the way. We have provided the care, the education, the treatment, and the love. Without a moment to grieve for those we have lost, we keep working. We distribute the condoms and the clean needles. We deliver the meals. We cut through the red tape to obtain the pitiful benefits. We raise the dollars to continue the work. While we do all this, our T-cells decline, the lesions grow. We attend, the, we attend our friends' funerals, and we think about our own. I still have people say to me today, which absolutely stuns me every time it happens, um, you must feel so great because it, the epidemic is, is uh, tapering off or whatever. And I l look at them in, in total disbelief. What makes them think it's getting better? It's not getting better, it's getting worse. Uh, New York City, which has more AIDS cases than anywhere else in the world, is actually cutting back on the AIDS services it provides. And private agencies like GMHC are going to have to pick up some of that. Slack. Obviously, we can't do it all. If we have a million and a half Americans who are already infected in this country, we're going to have literally tens of thousands more over the next decade. There is nobody in this society who isn't affected by this virus. In the early years, corporations and foundations really weren't quite sure what their role was in the fight against AIDS. So what happened early on in terms of corporate support was that it really was a grassroots effort. We were getting support from the individual employees. And what happened is that also triggered a response then from the heads of the corporations. So they heard the voice of their employees saying, this issue is critical to us. We're forming AIDS Walk teams. We're volunteering for the fight against AIDS. And we want the corporation to take a lead too. On occasion, if I go over to the Lowe's Corporation building, invariably, some employee whom I don't even know will say, gee, it's wonderful what you're doing. And I sent $25, or I marched in the AIDS walk. And it's a wonderful feeling. Now, many of you probably get mailings from Joan Tisch. And you wish they would stop, but they can't stop because they're too important. When I first got involved, I literally was on the lowest level in the volunteer office on 18th Street. I ran errands. I counted money out of those cans that you leave in bars. Uh, they tried to teach me how to work the switchboard. We were not a match. Uh, but little by little, the errands I did had a little bit more significance. We really do believe there is a role that the average citizen can play and that the corporate society can play in this. And we certainly have proved that with a huge number of volunteers who deliver the vast majority of our, of our services and our programs at GMHC. I just never forgot the fact that, that one time when he was in the hospital, two men I had never seen before nor since took the time and trouble to come up to the hospital 
with the papers that he had to sign. I think that might have been for a social security disability, whatever. And they were wonderful. They sat there for an hour and explained everything to my husband and to Connor. And uh, I just never got the help that was available. So it changed me totally. My goals are to try to leave this world in a better place than I uh, came into it. It's to try to make a difference, try to help people that are in pain or that need some sort of help. Things hurt, but you learn to deal with them. If you don't know how to deal with them, you go to GMHC, somebody that will help you, you know? So, God, GMHC has uh, given me like a second shot at life. You know, it sounds, I know it sounds corny, but it's, it's the truth, it's the truth.